Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you some of my breastfeeding tips and tricks that I've kind of learned along the way. There are some things that I have learned that first time round with my daughter, I did so wrong. And I think that's why it made my experience breastfeeding quite difficult. And this time I've kind of learned from them and I feel like this time round has been so much easier. There are some tips and tricks and just some pointers that I feel that some new mums might need to know. Or if you are trying breastfeeding for a second, time or third time or fourth time you might want to know or try just to make life a bit easier for yourself. With my daughter I managed to breastfeed her for about four months just before I started weaning her but I did find most of the experience quite difficult and there are some things that I did wrong that I've now learned from and I feel like this time round I'm kind of becoming a pro at it. It's becoming so easy and I just want to share with you some of my tips and tricks that make things a bit easier. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel then please hit subscribe and stick along for more videos in the future and obviously leave me any comments in the comments box below I always like answering your questions. The first tip I have is to make sure your latch is right. This is imperative for successful breastfeeding. If your baby looks like they are sucking it's wrong. They need to look as if they're biting on your boob. As much as the sucking action might look as if it's right you actually want it to look like your baby is opening their jaw and you can see it clamping down on your breast rather than sucking like a straw. What you want to do is make sure your baby's mouth is really really wide and as soon as their mouth is at the widest point when they go to latch on put them on right away. Don't hesitate. Be really really quick and swift with your movement and that way you will get a really good latch. Your baby's mouth is exactly the same as yours. It has a hard palate and a soft palate. The soft palate is way at the back of your mouth so what you want to do is try and get as much boob into your baby's mouth as you possibly can because otherwise it will hit against the hard palate. If you put your tongue to the roof of your mouth you'll feel the hard palate and then right at the back you'll feel the nice soft area that is where you want your nipple to be otherwise you are going to have cracked nipples it's going to hurt and your baby isn't going to feed correctly which means they're not going to drain all your milk and they're also not going to get a good enough feed so the latch is super important if your baby isn't doing it right take them off right away just put your pinky into the corner of their mouth and get them off your breast and make sure you attach them right the next time because otherwise it will be so sore. The next thing I would say for successful breastfeeding is get a position you feel comfortable in. Breastfeeding is really hard on your body. It's so physically exhausting. So you don't want to have feeders hunch, which I kind of have because I've got into the lazy habit of just sitting on the couch and slumping. But you want to be sitting in a good position that your baby is comfortable in and that you are also comfortable in too. Because you could be there for quite a while. Everyone's feeding times are different. So you want to get into a nice comfortable position. I really like the cradle hold. I think this is just the most natural way to hold a baby so I like to use this position or I use the rugby hold position or I also do the side by side lying position during the night when I am too tired to sit up. The next most important tip and I definitely didn't do enough of this the first time is to have plenty of fluid. Every time your baby breastfeeds make sure you are drinking. If you are breastfeeding that milk has got to come from somewhere so you need to make sure that you are drinking as much as your baby is. Try and think of it as you are now topping up the milk that is just left. So every time the baby feeds you should be trying to have a glass of water. I know sometimes this is easier said than done especially when you've got a million other things to do. So make sure that you've got your partner and your friends and your family in tow to make sure they remind you to drink plenty of water. Try by having just a big massive glass in the morning, have one at night time and just make sure you've got plenty of bottles lying around during the day. I use one of these little glass bottles to fill up during the day just because I find it easier. I did have a bigger sports bottle but Ella got away with it, she really liked it. So now I've just got this little one and if I go out and about I always manage to pick one up in the shops and I always have an empty water bottle in the car just in case I'm out and about and I can go and fill it up. If you're not hydrated enough your milk supply will diminish and that is when feeding becomes a bit difficult. If your baby is not satisfied they'll get restless and it'll just make things more problematic along the way. On the subject of supply it is so important to keep your supply up. Your milk is made up by the chemical oxytocin so that is the happy hormone. So obviously things like looking at your baby, looking at photos of your baby, spending time in lots of cuddles and nice happy thoughts makes lots of oxytocin in your brain and that makes your milk. So things like stress, arguments, worries, 
just generally things that won't make you happy will make your milk supply diminish. So try and avoid confrontation, arguments, things like that and make sure that your partner and you have a really good discussion about how you just cannot have any sort of upset or argument or any kind of stresses because that will really affect your milk supply. It's a good excuse to make sure that you avoid confrontation and also make sure that you are not stressed and you are more happy because you know that otherwise your baby's not getting their milk. Another great tip for increasing your milk supply is by baby wearing. I baby wear most of the time now just because I've got two under two but Ella's just turned two but I still consider myself in that category of two under two so I need to baby wear a lot and by doing that it really helps to create a bond and a closeness and it makes your body know that your baby is there and just constantly remind your brain that you have got to create milk to feed this child and I really feel like when I baby wear Charlie that my boobs go rock solid so that means that lots of milk is coming in and that is a really good way to stimulate some milk supply. So if you feel like it's kind of dwindling away a little bit, get baby wearing. I use the We Made Me Witty Wrap and I also use the We Made Me Soho Sling. Both of them are great. I actually prefer the one that's more kind of stretchy because it's proper hands-free. Remember as well, you are burning an extra 500 calories a day, so you will need to try and replace that with your food groups. So make sure that you are having a little bit more when it comes to your portion sizes at dinner time. It is a good way to lose weight, don't get me wrong, but you need to remember that whatever you're putting in is coming out in your baby. So you can't be skipping meals or anything like that. Make sure that you're trying to pack in as much good food in the day and also enjoy some of those extra cakes because like I say, you're burning an extra 500 calories. Have it while it lasts. In terms of products, I would say there are a few things that have just made such a difference for me. The first one being a good supportive bra. This will eliminate the chance of you ever getting mastitis and it's also just so comfortable to have a nice fitting bra. Ditch the underwire and go for a soft one. I really love the Bravado bras. They are so good, they're very comfortable and they're easy to attach on and off, which means when you're out in public breastfeeding, it's not like a big faff to try and get your bra unattached. They are so easy to use and they are really, really comfortable. I think I'll still be wearing these after I stop breastfeeding because they're just too comfy. Go for a nude one and go for a black one. That's all I have is a black and a nude and I literally rotate them. They are quite expensive breastfeeding bras but they are so worth it and you will wear them all the time. Also get yourself a hold of some breast pads. These are an essential. They are not, um, maybe I'll get some. Get some breast pads. You can get the washable ones but the disposable ones are so much easier. I just buy the ones in Home Bargains. They are really, really good. I think they may be 150 or two pounds a pack but they are brilliant they're really really good and they also come in little packs so it means that you can actually put the old ones in the new ones little pack to dispose of them you just need to keep these with you all the time because you will get little bits of leakage and the last thing you want is a leaking boob when you're out in public it's quite embarrassing. You will also need to get some nipple cream in the first few weeks of breastfeeding. It will be sore. Please don't think you're doing it wrong if it's sore. It's just something you've never done before. It's a part of your body that's not normally exposed or exposed to any kind of abrasion. So make sure that you use nipple cream every single feed. I did this with Charlie this time. I did it the first time with Ella and I ended up in a terrible state. So use it after every feed. Put a huge amount on and then just whack it onto your boob. Make sure you use it loads. It's so good for more moisturising your nipples again and making sure they don't get cracked. And I use the Lansino nipple cream because you don't need to wipe it off when you go to feed your baby. You can literally just feed them again with the nipple cream on. This will really help to kind of lubricate the area and it makes sure that you don't have sort of like chafing on your nipple. This sounds disgusting but it's so important when you're breastfeeding to make sure you look after yourself because it's these little things that make such a difference and if you don't look after your nipples it'll be hell on earth. You will not enjoy it and it will take all the convenience out of breastfeeding, the fact that every single time you go to do it, you'll be curling your toes and dreading it. So make sure that you look after yourself. Use the Lansnow nipple cream. I've never used any other ones, so I can't recommend any other ones apart from the Lansnow one. I've just really enjoyed using it. It's quite expensive. It's like £10, but it is money well spent. It's so worth it. Something else that I found has been an absolute essential with breastfeeding is a cake. I know a lot of people say use a muslin cloth because it does the same job but for me it just does not. I obviously can't do it properly or something because 
I really find that using a muslin means that you have to hold it and try and put your baby on. It's really, really difficult. Basically, what I'm trying to say is you need something that's hands-free. And when it comes to latching your baby on when you're out in public, for me, I don't want everyone seeing my nipple. So I want something that is basically going to sit over me and I can latch them on underneath. And that's exactly what a cape does. The one I've got is from Baby Chic and it basically has like a boned part around the collar. So it means that you can look in but nobody can see what you're doing and you can get your full boob out, no one's going to see it and you can latch your baby on really really well. I got it in navy and also in pink. I inherited the navy one from my sister-in-law because she stopped breastfeeding and gave it to me and I put one in each of my changing bags so I am never without one. So definitely go and have a look at those ones. I think they might be about £15 but again it's money well spent and you can pass it on to a friend if they want to use it in the future. And the next thing would be nipple shields. If you have got a really really sore nipple I found it first time round using a nipple shield really really helped. It's basically like a teat that you put onto your own boob and it acts as a sort of supportive barrier that your baby isn't causing any more damage to your nipple than what it already has done if you haven't had the correct latch. Again I never used it very often because I was just putting on loads of cream and making sure the latch was right before I continued with feeding. So guys I think that's kind of everything that I can cover at this point. Just make sure you're hydrated, make sure that you're comfortable in good positions and also make sure your latch is correct. I'll link a few videos below for how you can latch your baby on correctly because obviously I can't show you right now. I don't want to get my boob out on YouTube but some other people have very kindly done that for us. I will link them down below so you can see. Please leave any questions you have. I'll get back to you. Or also feel free to just send me a private message on Instagram if you prefer to do that. I always get back to everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!